Welcome to a video I typically don't make. The lighting is poor. I'm in my car. The sunroof's open. So you're gonna have to adjust. I don't know, maybe like right here. Hi. Yeah, th this is actually pretty good. So I'm going to look at all the data mined courses for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass and just basically saying if I want them or not. So starting off, we have Sydney Sprint from Mario Kart Tour. I've only played three Mario Kart Tour original tracks. These are New York Minute, Tokyo Blur, and Merry Mountain. Then I just gave up. But seeing as um, Paris Promenade and uh, Ninja Hideaway are my two favorite tracks in the Booster Course Pass, I'd actually like to see this one return. New York Minute from Mario Kart Tour is up next. This was the first Mario Kart Tour exclusive track, and it's just brilliant. Sing a spore, sing a, sing a, sing a poor speedway. Is a nice track. Sydney Sprint again? No. Did they make an error? Yeah, th this list isn't really reliable. They made an error. Mario Circuit from Super Mario Kart. No, I don't know which one. But I'd actually be kind of fine with any of them, except Mario Circuit 3. Do not bring Mario Circuit 3 back. They say Sunset Wild is from Super Mario Kart. This list is so accurate, but, uh... Sunset Wilds, I like Sunset Wilds. Sunset Wilds is one of my favorite GBA tracks. I think it's unanimously one of our favorite GBA tracks. Uh, next up, DK Summit. One of the best Mario Kart Wii tracks of all time, but it's kind of overrated. Like, people are saying it's the best track of all time. It's the best Wii track of all time. I don't agree, but... I haven't played much Mario Kart Wii lately, so... Maple Treeway, another overrated track in my opinion, never really liked this one. Waluigi Stadium from Mario Kart Double Dash. Now here I'm also going to put, alongside Waluigi Stadium, Wario Stadium from Mario Kart 64 and Wario Coliseum. Because they just have some type of Wario Stadium track. And I'd be fine with any of those. Obviously, only one's gonna return. Or maybe two. I don't know. I don't know. Rainbow Road from Mario Kart 7. I grew up with the 3DS. And uh, Rainbow Road wasn't my favorite track. But when people say it's the best track of all time, I don't think it's uh, overrated. Because it's a very good Rainbow Road. It's probably unanimously one of the two best Rainbow Roads because some people who grew up with the Wii like the Wii Rainbow Road, and that's fine. <laughs> Mary Mountain was the other Mario Tour track that I played, and I would love to see it return, especially when you go down the mountain. I'm thinking Wave 3 would be released around Christmas time, and... It kind of gives me... I don't know. I don't know why, but it kind of gives me Super Mario Galaxy vibes. But I've never played it, so I don't know, really. I don't know. I don't know. I, I really don't know. Vancouver Velocity. The only reason why I want it back is because it's the only Canadian tour track. And guess where I'm from? It says Sunset Wilds for Mario Kart Super Circuit, but, uh... We already have Sunset Wilds from Super Mario Kart. So, Vanilla Lake from Super Mario Kart. Again! Which one? Probably Vanilla Lake 2, because that's way more, you know, Nintendo-like. Out of the... Th there's three biomes in Super Mario Kart that has just uh, two tracks. Koopa Beach, Choco Island, and Vanilla Lake. And Koopa Beach and Choco Island has only had their second track remade, the first... Never to be seen again. Will Vanilla Lake follow the same route? Hopefully not, because I like Vanilla Lake 1 a bit better. Peace out, guys. Have a wonderful day.